How's it going guys? So iPadOS 18.5 is now officially released to everybody, not just developer betas. So in 30 minutes or so, you should be able to finally get this update by simply just going into your settings and going to software update. And here would be where it will display the current update on your iPad, but then you also will be welcome with a screen like this, seeing that a new update is available and just simply tap update. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and cover all the new features, as well as more additional information you need to know about updating to this latest version of iPad OS. And of course, timestamps and everything will be in the description down below. So compatible devices, nothing here has changed. So, so long as your iPad was able to run iPad OS 18, you too will be able to update this on your iPad, no problem. So the first new change can be located actually in screen time. You see, by going into your iPad settings, and going down to screen time right in here. And with screen time enabled, if you share this iPad to like your little ones and stuff like that, whenever they enter their pin code, you'll be able to monitor their screen time now right here, as well as it'll be able to send you a notification as well on your other devices, letting you know that your little one has access to your iPad and they reach their screen time limit. So that's a new little feature they added right here. Additionally, if you have an Apple TV or you are somebody who uses the Apple TV app a lot, like on your iPad or your Apple TV device as well, or your iPhone, you are now able to do transaction purchases. So in other words, if you have like a third party TV, like an LG TV, a Samsung, you're using the Apple TV app. So long as you're signed into your Apple account on that device, you'll be able to confirm purchases on your Apple device now instead of on the television. This includes the Apple Watch and your iPhone as well. Another thing that got added is good to know, if, especially if you have an, like, an iPad with cellular, is you see by going in here and by going down to apps and going into the messages, if you have your messages synced with your iPhone and you happen to live in India, RCS is now available in those other regions. This is something you have to double check and make sure it's enabled by going into your iPhone settings, going to your iPhone and going to messages on the all app tab and look for the message tab right in here and just scroll all the way to the very bottom you'll see rcs messages and just make sure you have them enabled now so so long as you're talking to another android phone that's using rcs as you'll be able to send high resolution videos and photos to each other and communicate easier as if you're talking to like another iphone in addition to that you also have 5g cellular available for airtel now this ipad does not have cellular built in but the process will be exactly the same like it would be on the iphone so for instance if we go to our main page on our settings on our iphone but you might be needing to do this on your ipad just go in cellular and then in the cellular data option tap here and then where it says voice and data tap here one more time and right here is where you can enable 5g standalone in case you had that disabled so this is now available in more regions and this is where you go in to double check and see it's enabled on your ipad if you have an ipad with cellular now real quick if you've been enjoying this video so far if you could take two seconds to hit that like button like that would be truly appreciated because this allows the channel to be powered by you guys the viewers which is why you don't see integrated brands for like a vpn or something like that of me trying to pitch you to subscribe to something like that i just like to be straight to the point and those non-skippable minute or two minute parts of the videos it's truly annoying in my opinion so thank you to those that hit that like button i like and continue supporting the channel let's carry on Another new change was the iPad can be located in the wallpaper tab. By unlocking our device, but not swiping up to unlock it, if you go all the way to the far right, if I could go to the far right, there we go, that plus. And if we go down in the pride section, here's that new wallpaper that Apple added a part of this update. And if we tap pair and select this, and then we close it and reopen it, it has like a different design each and every time we unlock it. I know this is pride focused, but this could also be like art in a sense. So that's something new that we got with this update. So in case you don't know, Apple does, but this isn't no surprise. Apple does this all the time with like Black History Month as well as like Pride Month, which is what we received. But if you have an Apple Watch, they also have a limited edition band you can also select from, which here it is. This is how that watch face looks like with that color matching band design. Additionally, another new change can be located in the mail app. Where it says select, by tapping these dots right here, you can tap on the very bottom where it says show contact photo. You can now remove that or enable that. Weird, but it's a cool tool that they added. I'm not complaining. It's there, it's free, why not? And then a lot of people tend to overlook this, 
but these sections right here, they're customizable. By selecting these dots over here, you could customize the toolbar. You could rearrange these to your own personal preference. You could also add your unread mail up here as well as your read, read mail and such. Mute, flag, and later. So you could rearrange them like a toolbar. And then if we go ahead and select here and switch to category, there's now a new animation peak right here showing you that there's another category you could tap on right here because previously this used to be in block. A lot of people tend to overlook this, but you can swipe your finger like so to have access to your entire mail library if you have this section selected. Once more, you have to have category checkmarked to have access to this new toolbar up here. And then still in the settings app, another thing you can locate here is in the general tab in Apple Care and Warranty. Now we'll actually list all your Apple devices right here, but it will also show you what it will enable, what kind of coverage it currently has, and if some of your other products can qualify for Apple Care Plus if it's still eligible. Like here I have my recently purchased MacBook Air. I could add that if I need to. So I have the ability to go back and double check and see what I can add, what has it, and what doesn't have it. Uh, apparently my Apple Watches have Apple Care Plus and I didn't know that. I'm gonna cancel. Now switching wallpapers back, if we go into the news app, if you select the food section, when I first launched this, I was presented with a new splash screen. So you may or may not get this, just hit okay. But on the top here, we have a new recipe catalog. So now if you're a part of the Apple subscription plan for like your iCloud storage, you may have access to this and gives you access to a bunch of unique recipes you can now follow off your screen without needing to subscribe to like a third party app, it's all together. Another app to receive a new update is the music app. I actually received like a new category. Some users have been reporting they've been seeing a new viral hit category right here instead of like the new mix or mix for you or focus or your own station and stuff like that. Some users have been discovering there's like a new viral mix which excludes like Instagram, TikTok or other things. It just includes basically everything. I know I said exclude. I meant to say they include everything that's trending but not everything that's annoying allegedly but there's that new category that some users have been reporting. I unfortunately don't have that for some re odd reason. Now, when it comes to Apple intelligence, there hasn't really been much added on iOS 18.5, probably just improvements, minor, minor tweaks and stuff. But in terms of the new advanced Apple intelligence, this is not available on iPad OS 18.5. And just like that, there we have it. That is everything new that was added on iPad OS. 18.5 let me know which one of these features was your personal favorite and if we did miss one feel free to comment down below but i'm pretty sure well i hope so <laughs> i got everything again feel free to comment down below if i might have overlooked something now if you wish to watch more maybe you want to see what's new on the iphone side of things in case you missed it i covered that video over there where i cover all the new changes for ios 18.5 and the video underneath that are all the new changes for the apple watch thank you once again for watching